Hello and welcome to episode 35 of the Perfect Tower 2. It's been a while. There's been a big update, a complete revamp of the arcade. We're gonna take a look at that. But only one video won't do it justice. So here I'm desperately trying to get more resources. I will have to do a run, but they take so long that I decided to go with whatever I had. Here I'm showing that I'm in 8 figures, 15 million, 68 million for uh, a lot of uh, the areas and the hundreds of thousands for exotic refinements. All right, so let's take a look at the changes, major changes. As you can see, it's completely different from it used to be. There's even new um, skills. Gambler's luck, raise the chance to receive unique rewards. Raise the luck factor for all mini games to the power of 1.1. Increase the luck factor in Adventure based on rooms clear and distance to the starting room. As the top and bottom rows of jumbles jumble to the row that are checked for potential reward combinations. Unlock the ability to manually refresh the rewards of the lucky wheel and increase the amount of tokens gained from minigames. Of course, I didn't understand much of this because I didn't start exploring RK 2.0 yet. And look at that, it's something new here, never seen this before. But I ran out of skill points, so later on we'll buy it and we'll look at exactly what it is. And I check for the rest but that's all there is new for now okay so we got this lucky wheel here oh yeah there's this first increase your tower or more and elemental or more using tokens so i'm not sure i understand this fully and this is for damage output and the other ones for energy does that mean the more tokens i have the more armor and dps i have please let me know in the comments because i don't understand this part I do want to thank Buddy. Buddy helped me a lot on uh, multiple things, but I forgot to ask him that. Uh, this part, I don't know. Okay, so uh, you wager, but you can see that I'm not using scientific notation. I only use it when it's necessary or below uh, ventilions. But anyways, I'm going to switch to scientific notation so I can understand what I'm wagering. All right, we're gonna stay with that for the rest of the video. So 3E59, I don't want to spend too much. So I'm gonna wager E55 is gonna change to E56 later on. So let's see what this game is about. Now I'm doing it manually. By the way, I just got a car. We're gonna talk about cars later. But uh, workers can automate this. Wow, I get already a module. We'll see, uh, I'm gonna get two muzzles today, we'll look at them towards the end. But anyways, this can be automated, obviously you don't sit there for hours doing this. Adventure, you sit there for hours. I'm really excited to talk to you about Adventure because there's two videos being released at the same time. I cannot do Adventure justice without its own video. Anyways, the refresh wheel, uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly what it does. Maybe if you're looking for artifact or uh, tokens or skill points. Because there's only two non-resources slots, right? So I don't know. But I noticed that the time was going down normally. And I said, hey, in the power plant, there is an arcade boost. So we're going to go there very soon. By the way, the power plant does still have the original setup from the very beginning of this series. And I even accidentally shut down the power plant boost from the infinity board it's gonna take a while to recharge i wanted to see how long a stone will take to recharge but i chose the wrong one i chose a power plant one so it's a significant mistake but i'll recover i don't know if i'll ever change my power grid maybe but i'm doing pretty well so i don't know we'll think about it let's focus on this for now all right, next clip. Jumble, so I had to read, I didn't understand what to do. It's not very complicated though. So you set a wager, of course, and you press stop to freeze each column individually. 
That's all you gotta do. I was clicking around, so I didn't want to show you that. So we'll do that. I'll just show you what it does. But once again, it can be automated. So the two that can be automated is the Lucky Wheel and the Jumble using workers. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get anything good for now, but later on I'll show you uh, one good thing I got out of Jumble. This is where I'm going to go to 1e56, but I'm really gonna have to do a very long run because I need a lot of resources for adventure. Here's adventure. I cannot do adventure justice, like I said, without making a video. So I made a video that was released at the same time as this one. It's outside of the series, but I'm gonna get every single card there is in my very first run. Of course, I'm clicking around here and I'm gonna die in like two minutes, doesn't matter. But the first time I really try a real run, I made a very long run where I got every single card. So look for this thumbnail, okay? I really invite you to watch this. You might find this interesting. And what I wanna do is the mother of all runs. So there's going to be another one. That's why I need so many resources and also tokens. These are cards. So the cards, they give skill points. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the progress I made in terms of cards because I kind of Frankenstein it. The end of the video is after my run in adventure. This is what this explains because I didn't know what it did. It seems to only give skill points and the better cars in terms of rarity, the more skill points you get. And there's a maximum also. I'm not sure of the name or the color of the rarities, but I will max out the bottom one. It's dangerous to go alone, like in Zelda. <laughs> uh, that's from adventure so now i'm spinning because i want to show you uh, something interesting i got a skill point why is it interesting remember i was trying to get something here okay what it is increase the total damage output of the tower by one percent for each offensive module inside your blueprint sure more damage not gonna complain about that jumbo I'm about to get a module. No, I won't. No, I'm kidding. Yes, I will get a module. That's my second module. Um, and we'll look at them later on, as I said. How about right now? We find our more. We'll supply each or more type of the tower by a constant value. I have absolutely no intention of changing my blueprint. Now that I can do eight figures anywhere I want. Maybe chaotic, impossible might be difficult. I have to check. Uh, it's been a while, but anyways, I'm doing super well. So why change something that works? This one, it uh, removes resistance, in, but increase the damage. Until MT15, I don't want to change my main blueprint that I use to farm for resources and push through infinities. That's not going to happen. Don't fix it if it's not broken. All right, arcade power boost also affects player action cooldowns. I had to ask Buddy Boy. It reduces delay between spins and accelerates jumble. I oh, hope I don't misquote him by saying that. And the added neutral damage if you look at the bottom of the infinity perks screen. All right. Next clip. This is my museum, everything's 50. What I want to show you is an artifact that I got in Adventure. And what it does, it gives me 1% damage factor for each unlock trading card. Not bad, not bad at all. In that special video, you're gonna see that happen, me getting this artifact. So these are my workers. Spinning the lucky wheel and playing jumble automatically. We'll see the effect of that. These are skill points I got also from this auto playing. And I'm gonna spend it on arcade tokens. Because I need tokens for the adventure. You can buy upgrades in advance in the game. You can take a look at my town perks if you like. They are permanent. I don't do this uh, respecting. 
All right, so this is the automated jumble and the automated lucky wheel. I'm about to point to adventure where I reach 80 distance from the middle. It's a dungeon crawler where you find chests, gives you bombs, armor, attack power, there's mobs, and the music is awesome. <laughs> so these are the cars I got after the run. Look at the bottom. It's dangerous to go alone, 32 skill points. And I was delighted to see that there was new contracts. I don't know how new that is, but anyways, I did not know this existed. So another resource times three. I don't know if it's multiplicative. Please let me know in the comments. So I got times three times three times two. Is it additive or multiplicative? I would bet additive, but I could be wrong. I had just added these two, Elementalist and Trickster, for even more power. MT-15 doesn't exist yet, it's impossible to reach 400 modules, I'm really excited about the release of that new military tier. And also the added hard mode for challenges, we'll make a video about this one of these days, and it gives you skill points. And also check, is there new challenges anywhere? And as you can see, the answer is no. Now I'm ready to do a run, 15 million in insane, 11 million in hard, but I did not do nightmare. So I'm gonna do a run, a very long run, to make as much resources as I can. And we're gonna go with this usual ending with idle gains. And that would be it. So don't forget to check out the other video that talks about adventure. I get every single card you can get in one run, my first run, where I'm being really careful, you know. But I cannot do the mother of all runs yet. I need tons of resources and tons of tokens to do that. So there will be two adventure mode videos. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.